Hello and welcome back to Tyranny. Let's meet with Blade and Mark. Uh, Ashwood. Oh my goodness, so many places are unlocked. We will go to Ashwood, then we will go to the Dawning Spire to unlock the final seat of power. Your journey is interrupted by a messenger from the Mountain Spire. A short young man with a long flop of dark hair and a surprisingly full beard, the messenger bears bloodshot eyes and a nervous disposition. Ever since your issuance of the edict against your foes at Vengeance Well, the courier tells you the Valley of Apex has been beset by an ever-increasing number of bane. The creatures seem inimical to all life, and their predations have the people of Apex hiding in terror rather than tending the fields. If this keeps up, the lands you've claimed will not be able to support your spire, regardless of how rapacious your tax collectors become. The messengers ask that what orders you wish to return to spire. You press the messenger for more details. He tells you that there have been scattered bane sighted throughout the valley, but there are thickets around Vengeance Well, uh, Vengeance Well Citadel, and in the mountains that ring the old dominion. They've attacked a handful of travelers and devastated the livestock throughout the valley. Given that the farmers are still recovering from the conquest, the rise of the Avenging Guard and the subsequent civil war between the Archons, it couldn't be worse time for Bane to appear in Apex. You consider how best to deal with the threat your edict has stirred. The quest 8 from my eyes, I love that it's Tunon's favor. You prepare a missive of your own, but which allies will you reach out to for aid against the Bane? The Court of Fatebinders. You address your your missive to Nunovo, Fatebinder of War, in the Bastard City and request his aid in the Valley of Apex. You note that normally you wouldn't tax the adjudicator's agent with such a manual task, but you thought he might enjoy the opportunity to sell his metal against the pain. You suggest that Rogalus, too, may be interested in their study and could certainly add to the uh, surety of a victory over the arcane horrors. The messenger takes your missive and leaves to find a bird to Tunus court. Hopefully it will work. The dark silhouette before you coalesces into the form of Blade and Mark. Daggers held in either hand, the Archon of Shadow steps toward you with a confident stride. Fatebinder. Hm, no. Archon. Welcome back to Ashweald. You've been busy. His eyes brighten with interest. You cast an edict and became an Archon of... of something different, indeed. You're not some wild talent breathing fire, pissing mercury, or transforming into an animal. You're tapping into the Overlord's vein of magic. Not many can walk as we do in the darkness. Not many can keep their sanity in a state of eternal night. Because you've proven you can, uh, I'll give you this. The written testimony of a sage in witness at the Edict of Nightfall's proclamation several centuries ago. Figure out how to cast it, and in that region we'll be unstoppable. Now there isn't an Archon in the Tears who isn't considering how best to... Handle you. And what about you? Are you also wondering how to handle me? I handled you long before you became an Archon. We're on the same side. Mine. Is that so? You always have to have it your way. <laughs> Fine. We're on yours. The point is, I'm not the Archon you should be worried about next. So, level with me. What would convince you to swear fealty to me or to them? If you want me to forsake the old man, you'll need to do what he ought to have done ages ago. Slay the voices of Narat and Graven Ash. If you're as powerful as I fear you are, let's see you put that strength to good use and rid the world of two festering problems. Hmm. I wouldn't expect you to make such decision lightly. I'll return when the work is done. Good hunting, Archon. Blade and Mark bows his head to you before sipping completely into the darkness. <sighs> so 
so we must kill both Archons. Uh, also, I saw that Siren and uh, Killers in Shadow wants to talk. I did not notice that one earlier. So we'll talk with them once we are at the Spire. Without looking up to you, at you, Cyril is a long, dejected sigh. Is something bothering you? You seem sad. No. Everything's fine, Archon. But... I appreciate you asking. She wipes at her nose, glancing away. I've made some progress on that ancient musical score. I'm almost completely sure it's the same music I hear in that crystal we found. Meaning there's a definite relationship between them. But what else? This music... I think it describes something... fundamental. About magic, I mean. Or at least about the magic of the old walls. She chews on her lower lip. That sounds like a pretty incredible thing to know about. I... guess. I, I mean, sure, it's something nobody else knows yet. Except maybe Kairos. Maybe not. I'm certain that weaving this song into my own music will strengthen it. Or at least let more of my power slip through this stupid hat. I wonder what was she about to say here? Oh, weird. Who knows? Maybe the old walls will hear my songs and then I'll be able to awaken spires too. Or sing edicts. Or both. Your voice will shake the tears. <laughs> The tears? <laughs> Don't underestimate me. I'll shake this whole ugly world. But truly, thank you for all of this. I'm indebted to you. I'll add my power to your cause, I promise. The dark furred beast woman snaps and quivers, panting lightly at her approach. She hunches low. Long, gangly fingers caressing the ground. Alpha, to kills and shadow smells good. <laughs> like mountain dough. Makes beast woman blood stir. <laughs> Run hot hot. <laughs> Makes beast woman want to hunt, bite, rot. Little Chitterbird has pledged to Alpha of kills and shadow. <laughs> Is good for Chitterbird's chance of survival. But bad for beast woman's ears. She wraps the ridge of a pointed ear, eyes lost in thought. Fate binder wants beast woman? The reek of an unwashed feral animal, bloodied and battle worn, sweeps you like a wet blanket, and you breathe through your mouth to keep from retching. Happy that I rescued the left claw. Yep, yep. Fate binder is good, Alpha to kills and shadow. Listens to beast woman's demands. Must like Beast Woman to fight for former Packwelp. She chuffs and shakes her head. She pants and scratches the back of her mane, hunching forward closer to you, her breath puffing hot against your neck. Her dark pink tongue lolls, dripping drool on your shoulder as she grins. Mm. Beast Woman too likes Fate Binder. Had any good hunts lately? Good, yep. And many more than five. The beast woman flexes and curls her claws in the air, the pitch blackness of her suddenly striking, a stark reminder of their power, their ability to kill. Went to prowl length of old walls during dark of nightfall. Killed many banes, but could not kill all. Bane or strong, tough hunt even for beast women. Had to run, run, flee. I want your opinion on something. The beast woman sits back on her haunches. She scratches under one hairy teeth, then the next, snuffing at the air, heading, head bobbing lightly. Her red eyes slide closed with contentment. Mm. Fate Binder has good musk. Smells of bloodlust, of predator, of savage strong alpha. Mm. It's good to ask Beast Woman for advice. Even strong Alpha needs cunning of Bolverkat's side. How would you assess our progress? 
On stealing territory of beast women lands, lands humans call realms of tearsmen. No fate binder claim territory of Vendrian's well for self. Is good for Pack. Should killers in shadow care outside of that? She crouches down and scratches the lower curve of her back. Mm. Mm. Alpha smells stronger after braving winds, cutting claw in blade grave. Confronted edicts of Kairos made people fear fate binder. How would you have us proceed? Kill everyone. Become strongest is easiest, best path. Fear is best weapon for alphas. Give power over others. Kairos understands. To be prima must shed much blood. Must teach Pack to obey at any cost. What do you think of the others in our pack? Her red eyes darken with cunning and she shifts her stance, hunkering low as if to sprint and attack. But rather than strike, she rakes cold fingers through her thick mane, thinking, assessing. A brazen, callow, are not as savage, fast, keen as beast woman, but are not weak. Fate bind a whelped good, tough pack. She bobs as she thinks, gaze darting about. What fool? What's your frauds on land tree? Hmm. Old. Many seasons. Should be weaker. Beast woman does not like smell. <laughs> Reeks of coal ink and lies. He's mystic. How about Barrick? <sighs> Beast woman does not like disfavored, but kills in shadow likes Barrick. Will not kill human yet. Want to hunt good and long, make bleed scream ride, mangle before kill. Her eyes gleam darkly, and she puffs out a longing breath, moved on slick from salivation. Human is tough like stone wall, is hidden behind iron shadow where beast woman cannot smell or scout weakness, but is noisy like crashing ball, easily stalked. How about theirs? Mm. Good hunter, makes of blood to death. Is savage swift like beast woman. That's a higher compliment to the beast than to me, but I appreciate the thought. And how about Eb? Human brood mother. Mystic. Kills and Shadow tilts her head to one side as if listening intently to a sound discernible only to her ears. Is strong. Breathe in gusts like ocean gale. And Siren? Incessant morning lark. Ceaseless chitterer. The beast one chuffs and rubs at her ears. If you think my voice is annoying now, animal, I could sing you a song you'll never stop hearing. Or just sing the last song you'll ever hear. Nope, nope. Do not want to hear. She grins and pants happily, tongue lolling from between her fangs. She yawns, wolf tongue curling between her wide gaping jaws. Lead conversation. Beast woman will follow. We should strategize how best to deal with our enemies and our allies. <laughs> best way is with bloodshed, yep. She grins wide, tongue lolling across her gleaming blade sharp teeth. Hmm. Fate Binder has many allies. More enemies. Which do Fate Binder and Kills in Shadow on today? Hmm. Tell me more about the Beastman tribes. Hmm, best tribes. Tribes that grew from land. Kills and Shadow scratches a colossal gangly hand under her matted mane. She snorts. But are not Beastmen tribes. Beastmen are small, weak, good only for rutting. Tribes belong to best hunters, biggest, most savage, belong to beast women. Hmm. What does fate bind a desire to know regarding beast women tribes? What are your thoughts on the stone stalkers? She crinkles her snout in disapproval. Stone stalkers breed like rodents, swarm, consume lands, have no pride, rut weak mates, whelp weak cubs and starve, enslave own tribe to humans to survive. 
Now range far from Azure Lands, but still do not flourish. But Gills in Shadow has tried to help Stone Stalkers yet. Fought to use for own gains for hunting disfavored, but ended up leading pack of good, obedient stone whelps. Maybe fond of some few. Any there are there any other tribes in the tears? Shadow hunters are gone. Troll hooks are gone. Cadvorn has wandered northwest of bastard lands. West Reaver's tomb. Bone breakers are gone. Mantaborn claimed fanged bay. She knows a clothed fingertip between two fangs. Have heard our other tribes north. Lead conversation. Beast woman will follow. Do you know anything about the magical guilds in the tears? Years in shadow does not understand human behavior towards mystics. Tribes should value, protect mystics, not treat like outcasts, caitiffs forced into separate packs. Humans fear and snivel, snap at own mystics, until mystics become strong alphas like archons. Then humans grovel and beg favor. Follow archons in droves. Mm, maybe Fatebinder understands ways of human mystics better. Maybe not. Ask and discover. What do you know of the sages? Strange pack. Dispersed. Sage humans know each other, but prefer lone wolf travel. Or clever, harder to hunt. Smell of coal ink and rotted trees. Leave beast women alone most times. So, kills in shadow likes. What about the Forgebound? Hmm. Forgebound are builders, not fighters. Are like slaves to own human pack. Work, work, work without rest. Are weak and submissive, but can mold hard grey ore, like pressing paw prints into mud. What do you mean they're like slaves? Forgebound make better than iron, killing claws and hard pelts all day for kith of other pack. Why give to others if have choice? What grey ore? Rock. Ore. Hot and skin of Tarotus. Smells like iron, but is different. Forge bound mold grey ore to give tribes teeth and claws. Carve better, slice deeper than ones of iron and bronze. The beast woman snorts and sneezes. Why would you call them weak? Strong mystics. Beast women mystics use earth blood power to hunt, kill, eat, prey. Not to be leashed by others. Lead conversation. Beast woman will follow. What about the earth shakers? Earth shakers draw power from earth blood like stone stalker mystics, like beast women. Archaeans pack, yep. Are strong, are disfavored. But our tearsmen smell more of stone lands, more of earth blood than disfavored, yep. Have you had past dealings with the Earthshakers? Mm, if by dealings, Fatebinder means hunts and killings, then yep! Earthshakers crushed Shardnip tribe in South Stone Lands. So kills in shadow slaughtered pack of Earthshakers in North near Howling Rock. Earthblood. Do I even want to ask? Mm, beneath dry soil, wet Earthblood beats, thrums. Fatebinder's ears cannot hear surging blood song. Do you share arcane teachings? Stone stalker cubs learn to lap same earth blood that earth shakers do, but beast women methods are different. Both hunt with same mystic claws, but slashing technique varies. Lead conversation. Beast woman will follow. Tell me about the magic of the beast man. Beast women mystics are rare, honored, powerful. Can hear and scent lifeblood in earth, air, sea, and shadows. Mm, our strongest and smartest of beast women, of all creatures, even archons. And would you happen to be one of these powerful beast women mystics? Rude mother was mystic. Kills in shadow can hear song of shadows, can smell power in darkness, yep, yep, but did not learn. 
cannot train for life of Elder locked in cave. Wanted to be strong, but wanted to hunt, fight, kill, kill, kill more. Your mystics lock themselves in caves. Why? The beast woman shuffles uncomfortably before settling herself lower on her huntress. Are free. Can roam, can hunt, but don't. Exist to make pack stronger, sometimes lead, teach, protect. Many seasons carve knowledge into cave. Where is this cave of the Stone Hunter mystics exactly? <laughs> Would not tell Fate Binder. Humans cannot read marks either way. Not even sages. She snorts. Do stone stalkers also carve magical knowledge into cave walls for anyone to stumble across? Not that kills in shadow has seen. Stone stalkers do not carve marks with claws. Have no understanding of things that remain past death. Stone stalker knowledge exists only as passed through living members of tribe. Beast woman too sees many things. Which tribe has the strongest mystics? Mm. Shadow hunters. At best mystics could seep into shadows, could control the darkness, could suffocate, kill. The beast woman settles her blood red eyes on you. It's a heavy gaze, full of pride. I had a feeling you might say that. Mm. Fate Binder often has feelings for beast women. Cannot resist lure of best predator. Yep, yep. More powerful than Archons. Forgive me if I find that hard to believe. Fate Binder thinks Beast Woman Mystic cannot be called Archon. All Beast Women tribes know legend, no life of Thundermane. Slaughtered endless humans. Struck five Archons dead before was slain by Kairos. What is Archon if not merely name like Prima? The Beast Woman's lips split in a menacing grin. All fangs are rough, dark tongue. Beast Woman too sees many things. Lead conversation. Beast Woman will follow. Let us discuss those in the tears who seek to defy Kairos. Hmm. Humans of Beast Women lands, humans called Tearsmen, are many roiling maggots that infest ruin good meat. Clever hunter would crouch behind humans like stone cover during fight with Kairos's tribe. Let Tearsmen die so Fate Binder and Beast Women can survive. Win! Many humans live in Beast Women lands. Kills in shadow knows Tearsmen pack well. So what do you know of the Vengean Guard? No pack was defeated by Kairos's tribe. Was small, easily hunted first time. Struggled, fought back to paws and knees. But could not have won second time. Was like hair challenging wolf. What about the Bronze Butterhood? Lying kith. Or not brood brothers, use bronze killing claws. Smell of tanned hide, blood, piss, and fire water. Fight like black striped jackals. Laughing, nimble, reckless. Fight for trinkets, not survival. And what about the unbroken? Strongest humans in beast women lands. Earth blood must pump hot fast through veins. Or tenacious, undefeated. Stand tough as mountains, even against disfavored. Lead conversation. Beast woman will follow. I want to talk about Kairos and the Archons. Hmm. Fate binders tribe. No packs well. She huffs and snorts. What do you know of the disfavored and graven ash? Hmm. Disfavored hunting slave beast women. Only predators to rival tribes. Dislike, admire, envy skill, want to stalk, then want to kill slowly, make scream. Mm. But disfavored do not yowl easily, have taken killing teeth and throat, carving claws and gut, and survived. Alpha laves pain from pack, makes pack tougher, deadly threat. Okay, I don't know why it 
put us back here, but we were mm. discussing the kind of Finders tribe. No packs well. What do you know of the discarded cars and the voices of Nerat? Archon with many voices is vicious, cunning feral, good, desirable alpha. But Pack is rank, has taint of rotten meat. Kills and shadow rakes a curved black claw across the bridge of her snout. Pack wails, bleeds from relentless infighting. Even bulwarks cannot wrestle whelps into control. Strong are few and feud each other. Rest are many weak chaff. But Archon does not call back. Makes aberrant. Dangerous. Nurat is the cause of the rot in the chorus. That monster is part of it, not outside it. Nurat encourages the chaos and revels in the destruction. The voices of Nerad is many things, and more than one woman has called that creature desirable. Ask yourself where any of them have gone. Hopefully insane. Mm. Fate binders try. Horse. No packs well. What do you know of Tunum and his court of fate binders? No chorus and disfavored fear fate binders more than chorus and disfavored fear each other. She bears her fangs, darkly pleased. Means fate binders are better war makers, better blood spillers. Would like to fight other fate binders, test prowess of these feared killers. But fate binder bows to Tunan. Cannot fight within Pack without answering to Pack's bulwark. Archon called Bladed Mark. I'm not worried about Bladed Mark. She lifts heated, blood-red eyes to her face as she pants excitedly. Her rough, moved tongue picks from between her fangs. <clears throat> Beast woman agrees. Make Archon of Shadows bow to Alpha. Or let kills in shadow mangle Archon instead. Uh, what now does Fate find a wish to yip about? <laughs> With a sharp, tipped claw, she picks a bag from between her teeth. I would like to know more about you. Kills and Shadow puffs her hairy, naked teeth out. Am best hunter. She bolts, scratching on idly. Am blessed of tribe. Tribe who killed King Vipers, Alerion, and Thorn Stags extinct. Am Alpha. Brood mother. Can smell earth blood like mystic. What else does Alpha to Kills and Shadow long to know? I think that's all. Lead conversation. Beast woman will follow. Let's play a game. Immediately, the beast woman perks up, back straightening as her red eyes rove you with interest. Like playing with prey or with pack. We play sometimes with stone whelps. What, mate? Slaughter. Her dark moors part in a massive fangy grin. It's easy. Pack mate chooses one of each. What, mate? Slaughter. If prey is chosen, Pack joins ensuing aunt. If Packmate is chosen and both agree to game, then Pack gets to watch. Rut mate slaughter, eh? Well, does it have to be three different people? I rutted with my old gang boss, fine ass. Mated him for a time, and then I killed him. Of all my days running with the chorus, I think I enjoyed asking the most. Um wow. <laughs> I appreciate being included in this little, well, I'm not even really sure what to call this. It's not like any game I've ever played, but I'm going to say nothing and pretend like I haven't heard a word anyone said. And then I'm going to go sing myself a little amnesia. How could Beast Woman choose any other? Would Rut Ebb good and hot, hot, fast? Would mate Alpha and would slaughter, cut car back to pieces? Slowly, savoring while slicing flesh from neck. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Good. Good, good. Okay, and so I'm gonna end this part here, mate. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.